Hello. And thank you for being here. To daddy. It's really nice to see everyone again, even if it is in such a weird way. Before I begin, I'd like you to know that I'd have nothing to say to you today if it wasn't for all of you. And of course, my mom and daddy too, whom I've only known for a short blip in time since my birth. Excuse me for my nerdiness, but that would work out to approximately 0 0.0000954 percent of all of it. So I better start now. And if you're interested in how the rest of this message and our story continues, I'll still be around and on YouTube too. I'll begin with his famous salutation for all of you. How do you like me now? And a comforting Bible verse too. Psalm 34, 18, the creator of all is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This is an honor as my father's only daughter to share with you all on this solemn and special occasion, my heart and a poetic ode to him and you my attitude of gratitude for your footprints in my garden of life, especially to Jordan, which is Papa and Sean's namesake, Jordan Patrick John Allen, his beautiful wife, Jessica, my three beautiful grandchildren that I lovingly like to call Mr. Mason, lovely Layla and terrific Tobias. Taryn and Beth for blessing my life every day and all their support through all of this. On a quick personal note, I'll say that although daddy and I weren't together often or very close for that matter and didn't have the experiences as fathers and daughters usually get to, as most of you his invisible impact and imprint touched my life and mine. We loved in a unique way that transcends space and time without many words, although I have many. I know he loves me and I love him still. I always will. Love never dies, it just transforms. Thank you for hearing a daughter's heart and may my message heal hurts and soothe souls as we continue to live out all of these roles. So now, on with the ode for whom the bell tolls that I lovingly title, Strawberries Feel Forever. And subtitled, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Once upon a lovely time, in a wondrous realm, in my mind's eye, a long while ago, a happy young couple took a stroll on their paths up a hill, holding hearts in hands as lovers and newlyweds will. And today, many of you do still. In the shadows of the Drovers, Halloways, Moultons, and Allens, on sacred shores, where blueberries bloom for Jack and Jean. Carrying their precious pails up and down Allen Lane to the Cabot Trail with victorious minds and a claim to fame on that little lane. I experienced this family game and reminisce as I often do of once upon a times from the porch with a Papa Do view. But for now, my time is done, as Daddy's is. 
So I'll turn the page. The chapter's not quite done. But I'll leave you with one more verse from Psalms 46. Be still and know I am God. I am TLA, to love always. Tarly Allen, but my daddy called me Dolly. Part two is coming. Back to Papa Doo's view of birthday and anniversary bashes and surprise guests and beach bonfires right off the boat while the crooners played and he danced his jigs. Oh, what a rig. I only imagine the sounds and whale stories of whence it once was like for the fabulous five kids with the three on two. Who knows what they do? Sisters and brothers, love is true. Throughout his life, Dwight's heart was bright. In our heart lighthouses, he sparkles tonight while his spirit takes flight. He loved who he was and had a blast living, a shovel in hand for seeding hearts for giving. He gave until the boat builder hauled up his net and oars to come and rest on heaven's shores while the waves and winds are whistling wise words in the chirpings of birds. Oh, what a magically delicious lemon pie-eyed stroll of poetics we walked up and down that old hill. He loved me from birth. I love him still. Me and mine always will. And as the crystalline sands of time slip serendipitously through my fingers on sun and daughter kiss shores, I'll linger. The strawberry tears streaking and staining my cheeks and chin, recalling the times of how we began to begin anew with more nanas and papas, learning to love and know what I mean, to be the loving change, living in truth of the youth, in the misty explosions of the next Gen A, with baby boy Alan and Edwards Blue, who will have no other choice but to love and miss his great papa, John Allen too, as I know all of his friends and family here all do. Listen up now, my puppikins. I'm watching you smiling now and then. I'll hear your hearts when you need a friend. Be yourself, you are enough. Walk your talk around every bend. Mind your ma's and pa's and manners too. They've got baking and dishes to do. Face your futures fearlessly and free. I cherish you all on my family tree. You guys have fun celebrating my life. Here's my cheers and my hugs to share with you, me, and my wife. But I gotta go for a while. I got a game. All of the others are waiting and singing my name. I'm dealing Tara Bish and go fish on a new Allen Lane. They send their joy, by the way, and say hi to live and love today. That is the only way. The phoenix arises again and anew. I'm JDA, JDA and TLA. This is the end, but not for long. Thank you for listening to my little reminiscing.
like I say, I am TLA, true love always. Carly Allen, he called me Dolly, and I love him always. See you soon, Daddy.